Good morning, my peoples. So, all right, so my backyard is a little messy. I was gonna come clean it. But before I started cleaning, I wanted to talk about something, right? I wanted to talk about something very important. It's gonna be a really, really short video. Um, but what I wanted to talk about is I wanted to talk about network marketing, okay? I wanted to talk about network marketing, marketing as far as how people hate on it because it gets so much criticism. Now, the truth is this, is a lot of people don't want negativity right not, not of a negative you don't want haters right you don't want a hater you don't want to be you don't want to try to sell your friends and family and then um freaking two to three days go by and then you know people are avoiding you or you keep trying to reach out to your cult your wall market and people keep avoiding you and then fast forward you go by you know thanksgiving and then all of a sudden you're not invited Right, you're like, oh my God, you can't come to Thanksgiving, or when you come to Thanksgiving, no one talks to you. Let me tell you something, right? Nobody wants to be criticized and no one wants to be hated. But the truth is this, is you need to get attention towards whatever it is that you sell or whatever it is that you do. And if you're a single guy that wants to be in a relationship, you gotta get attention to you, okay? Because the truth is this, if nobody knows you, nobody can flow you, right? If no one knows what you do, no one can give you money. Okay, if, if you're not out there socializing, you're not going to be in a relationship, right? But the truth is this, people keep themselves away from being seen and being heard because they're afraid of being criticized in the opinion. Let me tell you something. We all want people to talk good about us, but the truth is this, good conversations are kind of boring. Imagine this conversation. They go, Emmanuel is such a great guy, right? Two people talk. Emmanuel is such a great guy. The other person is going to go, yeah, he is a good guy. Conversation over. Versus they go, Emmanuel's such an asshole. They go, look at what he did, Emmanuel did this. It's a long conversation thread. When people have more negative things to say about you, say about you, they talk about you for longer and they talk about you with more people than if they do have positive things to say about you. You have to understand, when people sit down and gossip, they don't gossip about good things, they gossip about bad things, right? You have to, you have to take advantage of that human nature, which is human nature is people love to talk about bad shit it makes them feel good but the reality is this haters are unpaid marketers my haters oh, oh look, that's a squirrel that's a squirrel right there haters are as i like to call them unpaid marketers they own my marketing team okay they market for me and whenever i put out content they hate on it and then they go out there and then they talk about it the reality is this is when you put when you sell when you advertise, when you market, when you promote, you have to understand that haters are going to come from it. If you're in network marketing and you market into your network, understand that people are going to hate on you for it. But that's good. Because when people hate on you for it, guess what? They're marketing for you. It may not be that they're marketing positive stuff, but guess what? They're drawing attention to you. And as long as they have a way to, you know, share your content or get other people to see your content, then guess what? You're getting advertising, man. It's free promotion right it's free promotion people will, will, will go out of your way to to say bad things about you than they will to say good things about you and what i'm saying is this is you got to get attention if you want to if you want to if you want to proceed move forward in life you got to get attention okay you got to get attention to yourself if you want to you know grow if you want to get you know be in a relationship if you want to get a girlfriend you got to get attention to your product you gotta get attention to your business if you want to sell more because the reality is money and power follows attention and if you ain't getting no money because you ain't getting no attention nobody knows you right you're a secret business right you notice that those businesses that are on the highway or like in in locations where people can see them and access them and the locations businesses that are making money imagine if starbucks wasn't easily accessible and starbucks was like in the in the middle of of a corner in between a bunch of suburban homes. I mean, no one's gonna buy from them. But, but Starbucks is where you can see them. Coca-Cola is somewhere where they all, listen, I'm from Nigeria and I can tell you this. Is I knew about Coca-Cola and Coke products and and um, all the soda and soft drinks, Mountain Dew. I mean, based on how much they advertise, man. All right, they cause so much obesity, but they still advertise and people still keep buying them. What I'm saying is this for you is this, is you need to, you need to go out there and get more attention towards your business, towards yourself. If you're a life insurance agent, let people know that you do life insurance. If they're going to hit on you, that's good because guess what? They will hit on you and they will talk about you, which is free marketing, brother. Which is free marketing, sister. So go out there and you go out there and you make your money. Now I'm making this video for my really nice small ass condo because guess what? 
I don't really need too much space. But I'm going to get there, but I just I don't need too much space. Now, if you like this video, do me a favor, like, comment, share. If you're a hater, please do me a favor and market for me. And we're going to have, you know, our weekly marketing meetings, hater style. For that, I'll see you guys. Enjoy.